Life goes better for us when we honor our father and mother. Proverbs chapter 30 verses 11 and 12 says, There's a generation that curses its father and does not bless its mother. There is a generation that is pure in its own eyes, yet is not washed of its filth. We are to honor our mother and father. Exodus chapter 20 verse 12 says, the commandment says, Honor your father and mother so that your days would be long in the land that you're given. Why would God want us to honor our father and mother, knowing that these people may have hurt us? He wants us to honor our father and mother because he is one, the ultimate father. He also knows that we would make decisions and mistakes just like they have. He also knows that there's a negative, spiritual, invisible world that influence all of us, including them, to be unkind to each other. He knows also that when we learn to honor our mother and father, we will learn to honor him. Because we will have challenging times in our walk with him where we will need to trust him. He also knows that if we were to honor our father and mother, then we can inherit the land that he has given to us. So let us become those people that will honor our fathers and mothers. Come to grips with how we were treated and accept, and accept how we were treated so that we were able to forgive them and begin to honor them. Let us not be the generation that does not honor our father and mother who are, um, who are precious in our own eyes, but yet not washed of our filth.